Hello. Today's Album Gen video will cover how to set up automatic page numbers for albums you've already created and for new albums. I recently had a call from a new user of Album Gen who was unsure of how to add page numbers to his album. He had created 127 pages so far for an album and forgot to add page numbers and found it cumbersome to add page numbers one at a time after the fact. There is, in fact, an easier way of doing it one, rather than one page at a time. He did not realize that AlbumGen can do this automatically, so I'll show you how simple it is by using the macro functions and copy attribute options built into AlbumGen. Let's first create an album for Mexico with uh, no page numbers. So I'm going to go to File, New Album, I'm going to call it Mexico. Click OK, and then going to set a header footer so for the header center uh, here we go I'm going to call it Mexico I'm going to give it a bold font title and then for the left I'm going to give it the year range that I'm going to import from easy stamp which is 1996 to 2014 and bold but you can you know you can change these as required when you do your own so there's our album and now I'm just going to save it now I'm going to import stamps from Easy Stamp. So I'm going to switch over to Easy Stamp. I'm going to do um, an import from Album Gen. The way I did there is I just control and uh, click on this icon here. I'm going to do numbers 2000 to 2900. Find and export. And now I can switch back to Album Gen and import them. And there we have 131 pages already set up for us. Since this album was created with no page numbers, we can add them to all pages. Let's start by adding page numbers on the current page I am on, which is on uh, page number three. We begin by right-clicking on the page, go to Page Setup, Header Footer, and I am going to do um, let's see, I'm going to do a footer, and I like my uh, page numbers on the right side. And now I'm going to click on the macro button. Oops. And what we want to do is add current page number. So we're going to insert. As you can see, we've added the page number. So then what we want to do now is type in a space, then the word of, and then we add the total number of pages macro. So we click on macro again, and then we can select total number of pages and insert that. And then we can adjust the fonts and whatever. We can make it, uh, let's make it bold and click OK. I'm going to uh, adjust that header footer. So I want to do a vertical offset of about, I'm going to change that to minus 18 just to lift it up a bit. There we go. And then we can uh, save that. Now we could repeat this 131 more times, but there's a much easier way. So if you go to the next page, you'll see that there's no page number. All we did was add it to that one page. So once we have the footer set up, we can copy it to all pages or a range of pages. To do this, we start by right-clicking on the page and select Copy Attributes. And then we want to choose Title Areas and then Titles. And then you can choose what you want to copy. I'm just going to copy everything. And then we're going to select All Pages and then Copy. So now every page, if we start advancing, you'll see the page number down at the uh, bottom right corner. It's also copied all the, the header information or any other information that we had wanted. So as you can see, now we have page numbers on, on every page. So you can do this with your albums if you created albums with no page numbers. I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll be adding more soon. Bye for now.